The Walt Disney Company has announced that it will be paying a dividend to its shareholders on January 10, 2024. The dividend will be given to shareholders who are recorded as such at the close of business on December 11. This decision to bring back the dividend was previously announced by the company in February of this year. Mark Parker, chairman of the board, stated, this has been a year of important progress for the Walt Disney Company, defined by a strategic restructuring and a renewed focus on long-term growth. As Disney moves forward with its key strategic objectives, we are pleased to declare a dividend for our shareholders while we continue to invest in the company's future and prioritize meaningful value creation. The announcement of the dividend comes at a time when activist investor Nelson Peltz, supported by major Disney shareholder and former Marvel boss Ike Perlmutter, is seeking to join the company's board. Peltz has stated that he will take the fight directly to the shareholders, after Disney rejected his offer and appointed two new directors instead. This push by Peltz has led Disney to make changes to its corporate bylaws regarding outside candidates seeking board seats. At a company's annual meeting, shareholders have the opportunity to elect directors. The company provides a list of nominated directors in a proxy statement prior to the meeting, and shareholders can also propose other candidates for director. Peltz intends to present his own candidates, not endorsed by the company. It is unclear how many board seats he is aiming for. Disney's fiscal year ends in September, and its annual meeting is typically held in March. This year, the meeting took place on April 3rd due to the battle with Peltz earlier in the year. Peltz withdrew from the fight in February. Prior to that, he had set up a website called Restore the Magic, which outlined his criticisms of Disney. It is not yet known what his next move will be. Disney has stated that Perlmutter has a long-standing personal agenda against CEO Bob Iger. Disney has made amendments to its corporate bylaws, as outlined in a filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission. These amendments address recent changes to SEC Rule 14A19, which requires the use of a universal proxy card that lists all director nominees from both management and shareholders. The amendments also require that any person soliciting proxies using their own proxy card use a card color other than white, which is typically used by management. Additionally, the amendments enhance the procedural mechanics and disclosure requirements for director nominations made by shareholders. In conclusion, the Walt Disney Company has declared a dividend for its shareholders, while also dealing with the efforts of activist investor Nelson Peltz to join the company's board. Disney has made amendments to its corporate bylaws in response to these developments.